Today's keyword is liquid. We're gonna focus on creating liquid gradients and blobs inside Adobe After Effects. Let's go. All right, we're inside After Effects and I'm gonna create a new comp for our liquid gradient effect. Then create a new solid called gradient and add the four color gradient effect to it. Then you can set your colors. I found mine from Adobe Color, so I'll import the image to get the colors from. All right, all set. We don't need this anymore. Maybe a more saturated version for this one and done. Now I'm gonna animate the four points of the gradient to begin with. So create a keyframe for each point, then go forward in time for 20 frames or so and change their positions. Okay, then I create a new adjustment layer and add the turbulent displace effect. Here we need to change the displacement to twist, amount to 300, and size to 400. Don't worry about these black cutouts because we're gonna fix them by adding a motion tile effect. Bring it above the turbulent displace and set the output width and height to 400. Now this look is also something you can use for your background if you don't want the liquid look. But we want to liquefy everything so I'll check mirror edges to blend the lines. To animate the gradient we need to add an expression to the evolution by alt clicking on it and then down here type time into 150 or any other speed that suits your project. And this is it, a liquid gradient background. Next one is the blob, so I'll create a comp for that. Then use the ellipse tool to create the circle. I'm gonna bring the color palette again to set the colors, first by changing the fill. Then right click on the shape layer and from layer styles add the gradient overlay. I'll open the gradient menu, then from edit gradient set the shadow color to this one and the highlight to this one. Darken the shadow a bit and done. Set the angle to minus 35, then again from the layer styles add inner shadow. Open the menu and set the color to something like the shadow color. Then set the distance and size to 50 in order to give the circle some depth. Next come up here and add the wiggle path. Open the menu, set the size to 50, detail to 0, points to smooth and wiggle second to 1. Then I'm gonna animate the position of our shape layer like so. We don't need the palette anymore. I'll duplicate the shape layer and change the animation a bit. Also the size of it. And I'm gonna repeat this one more time to make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna make another big blob at the bottom so that our little blobs come out of it. Delete the position keyframes, then resize it and bring it to the top in the timeline. Now we need to add an adjustment layer to create the stickiness of the blobs. So add the Gaussian Blur and Simple Choker. And here make sure the blur effect is on the top, then choose the same amount for both. I'll make them 20 and this is how it looks. Pretty interesting. And this is how the two effects look on top of each other. They don't necessarily go together, but since they have the same liquidity fill, I thought it might be a good idea to learn them both. Hope you enjoyed it.